this video will show you how to create a drag and drop question in Schoology. As a reminder, drag and drop questions are where the students have to grab one of the answer choices and drag it to one of the correct locations and drop it for it to be correct. Now to do that in Schoology, let me switch over here, you're going to need to scroll down and you're going to need this option here, fill in the blank, drag and drop. So I'm going to click that. Now the first thing you're going to do is do the question setup. So I'm going to start the first part. Which revolutionary era event occurred in which colony? Move the answers to the correct boxes. Now with this, it's really good to have a table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, see this option here. This is how you create a table. Click that. So you got to say how many rows you want, how many columns. For this one, we want two rows, three columns. I'd also recommend showing the border. It'll just be easier for you to actually type it. Then OK. Then if I scroll up, I now have this table here. So I can type Massachusetts. Let me go over the middle one, do Pennsylvania. And then the last one, Virginia. So the next row is going to be where I want them to actually do the drag and drop. And to be able to choose that, what you have to do is you do shift and then underscore. So I'm going to do that. That's one location they can drag to. Then I'm going to click over here. I'm going to do shift again, hold that, and then do the underscore. And if you're not sure what the underscore is, it's the one right next to the, the O, or sorry, the zero. So in between the zero and like the plus sign, equal sign, is the underscore. Then I'm come over here, hold shift, and do the underscore. So now I have three responses. Or that's where they're going to drag the answers to. Next is going to be actually typing what the answers are. So that's under possible responses. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to type some of the answer choices. So for the first answer choice, I'm going to do the British surrender at Yorktown. I guess that doesn't have to be a capital. Let's see. Then I'm going to add another option or another answer choice. And I'm going to say the battles of Lexington and Concord. Are fought. Add another answer choice and the Declaration of Independence is signed. I'm going to scroll down and this is where you're going to select what the correct answers are. So for instance I'm going to do Battles of Yorktown or sorry Lexington and Con Concord Declaration of Independence is signed in Pennsylvania, British surrender at Yorktown. So I drag the answers where the correct answer choices are, and I'm pretty much done. But again, I would recommend at the very end, you're going to do learning objectives and select that teak. So again, you come down here to state standards, Texas, scroll down to essential knowledge and teaks, go all the way down find that Social Studies 2018, and then the proper grade level. So for this one, it would be 8.4c. And then scroll down. And again, you don't have to, I just really recommend it. Now I'm going to hit save. Now just to show you what that looks like from the student point of view, let me go to preview and go to the third question. So let me scroll, oh, oh, we got it right here. Okay, so this is what students are gonna see. So they're gonna have to come down here, find the correct answer, and drag it up. So here, and then they would hit next. And that's how you create a drag and drop. 